<clears throat> Hello everybody, this is Candy Mossett with the Indigenous Environmental Network and I'm here in St. James Parish in Louisiana. I'm in a community where the Bayou Bridge Pipeline is going to be ending. Um, for those of you that may not know, the Dakota Access Pipeline will co connect to the Bayou Bridge Pipeline in uh, Illinois. And so it all stems from, of course, the Bakken in our community in North Dakota, where we're from. And it comes down here. And I'm standing right in front of, you can see all these oil tankers back here. There's probably about, I think they said 118. And if I turn this way, these are the houses in this community right here. This is where the people live in St. James, St. James Parish. So this is the end point for the Bayou Bridge Pipeline. They're already dealing with a lot of cancers, sicknesses, asthmas, heart problems, kidney conditions, liver conditions. It's a predominantly African-American community and we just met a lot of the people today. We went to um, church and met community members that are fighting back and so it's just kind of emotional. <laughs> it's also a tropical storm down here in the Gulf Coast area. So it's really windy and the rain just comes and goes with I just wanted to go live and let you know that the camp for fighting the Bayou Bridge Pipeline is officially opening on Saturday. So uh, the Indigenous Environmental Network and our crew is down here meeting with the community members, meeting with the people, helping to open the camp on Saturday to fight back against the Bayou Bridge Pipeline. And so um, ah, there's a petition that I want you all to sign. Um, StopBayouBridge.org. I'm going to have to they're calling me to get to the car here but we're gonna go over to another community just which is just right over on the other side of these tanks and I'm gonna show you what 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 it looks like um, shoot I wish where's Cherie Cherie <laughs> I need to get the name of the pipeline petition so go you can all help by filling out that petition but look at this you, you guys imagine this is your house this is your backyard. And and the folks here are sick. People have been dealing with all kinds of problems. Seeing back home just dealing with the industry and the politicians and the people. Stopbyyourbridge.org. I think we're gonna go over here and ask Cherie real quick if that's the name. What's the petition that people can sign? Where is it? What's the uh, link? Oh yeah, so it's on the uh, bowlouisiana.org. If you go there, then uh, the petition's there, and it's for uh, Governor Edwards to tell him to stop the pipeline, because he can stop the pipeline anytime he wants. So tell everybody, call Governor Edwards. Call Governor Edwards and tell him stop this pipeline, or at the very least do an environmental impact statement. He has come out for the pipeline, but what I've been telling him is, if you're so sure that this pipeline's safe and that this company is reputable enough to be in our wetlands, uh, then you shouldn't have any problem asking for an environmental impact statement. So call him up and tell him the same thing. Like it's time for him to step up. Hello. Hello. Hi. So I have people that are watching and they would like to know some people in the community. You want to tell people that could potentially help? What would you want to say to them? My name is Geraldine Mayho. And I don't want the, that pipeline here because we have enough problems with the air and everything and we're getting sick and I'm tired of it. It's time for them to stop lying and get us out of here or do whatever they got to do. It, we don't need no pipeline here. We got enough oil being spilt out there every week. We got oil coming out there. We don't know where it's coming from. They don't tell us anything. They hide everything from us. They get it in Washington before we get anything. Our uh, officials don't tell us nothing. We got an intercom up there. They don't tell us nothing about that. And all he do is hide and lie. My name is Janice Pye Fashel, and I am sick and tired of it. And I am a recovering cancer patient, and I'm thinking this was a cause of my sickness and illness. But I would love to have them stop this pipeline because I have grandchildren, great-grandchildren growing up in this area. Thank you. And I don't want anything to happen to them. That's right. My name is Sharon Levine. I've been living here for 65 years, and we have enough problems in our area, and I would like for Governor Edward to stop this Bayou Bridge pipeline. How would he like it to put it in his backyard? Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, ladies. 
love you so much. Can you say a bit, just one word about the camp or a bit? Um, yeah, so uh, we'll be opening the camp soon this weekend, uh, Loe La Vie. Um, we, if you've read the Intercept stuff, that you know that we have to be very careful. We are very sure that we have infiltration down here and that we're being watched. In fact, uh, at one of the hearings, one of the sheriffs stood up and said pointedly that there would be uh, violence committed against water protectors down here. So we have to do what we have to do to protect ourselves. But do know that we, we are opening up and that there is an application process that will be coming out too very, very soon. If you'd like to be a part of the camp, uh, we're going to be vetting quite a bit, but we want people to support and be ready to come down and help us out should the time come. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We'll see you at the next stop. You don't mind. I'm riding with you. You're riding with me? <laughs> yeah. Introduce yourself. <laughs> I'm Pastor Joseph of Mount Triumph Baptist Church and I live uh, 10627 Highway 18 and we are the president of the Help Association and what we are doing, we're trying to fight this place here because we realize that this is place is being destroyed by our industry and now they're talking about the Bayou Bridge Pipeline. That's no help to us. That's going to help destroy us more. So we are fighting for that. Thank you, Pastor. You coming with me? Yeah. All right. Mind. No, I don't mind. You got room in here? Yeah, I think so. Right. We'll make room. Let's make room, everybody. No, 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 no. She got room. I can ride with her. She got room in her truck. You sure? Yeah. Get out, Dallas. <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm here with Dallas. I'm here with Joy. We're down here. Trying to make the connections, trying to help the people and continue the fight against Dakota Access, against energy transfer partners. We know that there are several pipelines that are, you know, in the in in the works. Rover Pipeline, Mariner East, um, you know, energy transfer partners in general is just a horrible company and they have a really bad track record of going into low income communities, people of color communities. And we're 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 trying to have an effort to come together and fight together because we're not alone in this struggle. And everybody that might be watching at Fort Berthold, MHA Nations, at home in the Bakken, what's happening there is destroying communities here too. And we really need to fight back and realize that it's not just us that are being um, impacted by the extractive development. And by allowing the oil to be extracted there in the Bakken, we're hurting other people, and we're hurting other communities. So we, we, should, we, need, we can't be doing that. We're hurting, we're killing. Killing, literally. Literally killing other people. And it sucks listening to all the stories of the people and how much they're suffering and nobody cares. And there's no way for them to get out. They're just really being, a lot of the um, people that are living here, like the white people that live here have been bought out. And a lot of the black folks that are living here, they won't help them, they won't buy out their houses. And so this is where people live and they don't have a choice. So we're gonna keep coming back to you live. We're gonna be here. We're gonna open the camp on Saturday. Um, so stay tuned to indigenousrising.org, Indigenous Environmental Network. I'll go ahead and repost this here. We have people with us documenting and I just wanna thank everybody for watching right now. I gotta drive.